Hello everyone, my name is Sik and today I will be starting a playthrough of a custom campaign called Resist. And Resist was a custom campaign made by Kai Doimos, if that's correct. And I believe it is the winner of the Make Arma Not War contest. And I've played it before, but this campaign is excellent, it is really really good. It is spaced excellent, or excellently, it is, uh, the voice acting is really good as well, for the most part. And um, yeah, it basically just plays like the official Armor Free campaign. It's really, really well done. So I wanted to get back into it. And I'm going to start off with Road's End. And it basically, it's a storyline you'll recognize if you've played the Armor Free campaign. Because it basically ties right into it. Anyway, that's it for my intro. Let's get started. Almost there. So, the decommissioning of NATO assets on Stratus is roughly halfway complete, but Commander McKinnon wants to step up the pace of tearing down these bases. Trouble is, the AAF have locked down the island's major roads and our hunters broken down on one of the few left open. Until help arrives from Camp Rogaine, it doesn't look like much is getting done. Today's assignments over at Kill Farm are just going to have to wait. So, we've broken down over here, we need to get over there. And um, yeah, we're shit out of luck because the truck doesn't work anymore. So that's the basic premise. Let's get to it. And even this, like this is copied right out of the Arma campaign. It is, it is really cool to see. I have no idea how to get this kind of stuff going in my own missions, but I would love to. Yeah, it looks really cool, doesn't it? Saturday morning, man. And here's the four of us. Still waiting for the world to turn. Ten Buck says the engine's cranked. I ain't betting on what I know is true. Should have scrapped that hunk of shit a week ago. Fucking A. So you'd rather be lifting skeet rails at the farm, Steinacre? Is that it? I'd rather be doing something, sir. You are doing something. You're waiting. Yeah, I'm waiting to get off this lame ass island. Alright, here we go. Seems roguing we're out of options. That looks like a greenback truck. An AAF repair team? You gotta be kidding me. They should have closed this road with the rest of them. Lockdowns, breakdowns, teardowns. I fucking hate this place. They've stopped. Perhaps they got a leaking gasket, too. Coolridge, run over there and fetch our repair kit. Yes, sir. As you might realize, I am Coolridge, of course. <laughs> Can't have an AI running over there and do, do a job that the player could do. And have the player just stand around. So, yeah, let's go for it. Jesus Christ! This is Corporal Coleridge. We've been buzzed by an unidentified fast mover. Need immediate assistance at grid 045065. Multiple casualties. Repeat, multiple casualties. Negative, we are under attack. Troops are advancing from the west. AAF, Murray, bastards still across us. Head north. Romeo in November are turning round to pick up anyone who can't make it back here. Try and get to the hill. I say again. That's uh, that little pop up there was because. Uh, well, let me turn on the music a little bit, because that's a little bit loud. Let's go for it like this. But yeah, that little pop up was because I have one of those mods that allows um, bodies to basically go up in giblets. So that's what happened just now. The first time anybody just kind of blows up and disappears into chunks, you get that little uh, pop-up sign and never again after that. So.
All right, so we have to evacuate at the evacuation point. So, um, yeah, it's up there. Oh yeah, now I see it. It's pretty subtle these markers, so it's easy to miss. Oh man, we've got greenbacks contacts or greenback contacts right away. <laughs> Luckily, I got them in time. It's always hard fighting uphill in Arma because the AI is pretty damn quick if they're in this close of a range and it's hard to see them through the, tr through the grass sometimes. And it's a little bit easier for them on the whole. So yeah, this uh, little hillside is always a little bit tricky. But yeah, I'm running pretty much everything on high or ultra. At this at this point in time, and it looks really really good. Kill farm optional. Of course, I'm going for it. Let's check out the kill farm. They just dropped the bomb, so wanna have a look, see what's over there, right? And we could use some ammo as well because I only have one clip and the 17 rounds remaining in my rifle, so. Thou shall not be killed. Well, let's hope not. <laughs> All right. Over here. Uh, I messed up pretty bad. It's nothing. Stay calm. Greenbacks called in reinforcements. Use whatever's in the crate behind me. Mind the road beyond the checkpoint. No time. There's an evac point. Yeah. Reckon you can make it? Let's do it. Oh, shit! Bukowski! Bukowski! <laughs> if you did, may not know, like I'm working on a desk screen mod with someone else, and uh, that's why you just heard this elaborate desk screen. It's because I'm running that mod, and uh, yeah, it just sounds really, really good. I really can't play without the desk screen mod anymore. And I'm I'm going through the process because this was a desk screen that is from Red Orchestra 2. I'm in the process of recording more, uh, personally, actually, so. And I want to have them on the same level of quality as, as the one you just heard. And it takes some time recording these because I want to have an empty house <laughs> before I start making these kinds of noises. So they want me to mine the road over here at the checkpoint, so I'm going to do that, of course. Just going to, uh... North of this is Romeo. Hold tight. We're taking fire. No chance of us cutting across the mainland. Secure the LZ as best you can. ETA in five. That should do it. No, that's not going to do it, so I'm going to place more. You never know what the AI is going to be up to, so I'm going to place a few more. Place another one over here. And I suppose I'll uh, put another one over there. And then let's continue on. And actually, let's do a tactical reload as well. And let's hope that does the trick. Wow. Okay. The save game just tanked my frame rate for a second there, but it's back to normal now. Yeah, that's not going to happen. That's more likely to happen. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to surrender to you. Fuck that. 
he is going to land at our LZ though, so I'm going to grab this uh, kit over here. Let's get rid of our. Uh, let's take out the RCO. Get the machine gun over here, and also rearm at the other rifleman. And let's see. We had a radio message. So let's talk Romeo. to Romeo. We've got a problem. Looks like an AAF Hellcat just dropped off a welcoming party on our LZ. Over. Copy that. Sounds like Lieutenant Mistori pickups. No good trying to run. They'll have thermal optics. I suggest you take up a defensive position and give them hell. Out. All right. So let's try to do that. This I, mean, just I gets can't. Better and better. I can't just. Let's see. That's one down. So far so good. That's a few more though. I think he's down. Oh, come on, you motherfucker. Oh, that was a headshot. That's good. He's hit. Ah, that's good. Alright, that's the last one. Let's continue on here. I'm going to be playing this entire campaign, because I never quite finished it. I got quite far, but then one of the missions really tanked my frame rate on my laptop, and that's where I played it for the first time. There was a lot going on in that one. It was a, a siege defense or something like that, if I remember correctly. It's been a while, and um, yeah. Wow. It doesn't sound like it's the end. Ah! It's coming from the rear. So the mines didn't quite do the trick. Ah, he threw a smoke grenade. By the looks of it. Oh, reload. Crap. There we go. I think that's everyone now. Ah, that's ours. Only 10 more rounds, holy shit. Yeah, I definitely need to get out of here now. That's a little bird. That's ours too, thank god. Man, I should get uh, the rifles off of one of these guys. Ah, oh, there we go. And uh, was this actually my story? Yeah. Looks like it. All right, good. Rearmed, fully ready to go. Let's go for the final sprint, cause uh, yeah, I'm not sure if there's still anyone behind us or not. So maybe get a rock in between us if you can. As you can tell, the, the production values of this are really, really high. It is really quite good. The production values are through the roof on this one. For a fan-made, uh, for a fan-made campaign, I mean, the voice acting alone is incredible. 
just haven't maybe they even got paid for it i don't know but these guys are definitely very good and uh, yeah i did kill my story and i took his rifle so yeah fuck you my story kill the team leader combat lifesaver marksman kill a lot of people actually 12 wow all right that's it for this video please like and subscribe if you want to see the rest of course and uh, i'll see you guys for the next video